uh, we're here at Blenheim. Uh, Blenheim was actually the first horse trials I ever came to watch as a 12 year old and ever since then it's been one of my ambitions so it's amazing to finally be here living one of the dreams. Six. This is the second combination on course uh, and it's quite spooky. We've got a small pond in the middle that horses tend to back off and you come in over the small rail that doesn't look much but there's a lot around to look at through the pond and then to this B element which you can either take straight line through and quite an angle or you can come out to the side here and slightly kink it to get a slightly straighter line onto it which makes it slightly easier but wastes a few seconds. Right, so we're here at fence eight for the CIC and this is one of the more tricky combinations on the course. Um, as you ride up to this you need quite a punchy canter and the horses won't actually see where they're going to land until right on top of the fence and you don't really know how they're going to jump over this. If they jump big obviously you're going to land a long way down that hill and then in between the two fences there's either a very forward four stride or quite a short five stride so depending on how big you jump you're probably going to land around about here and then you've got to make up your mind depending on what you feel as to what distance you're going to go and just hold them straight and ride for it. and then pop over fence B. We'll probably go for the four strides, but depending if we get a small jump over that, you sit and wait for the five. So this is fence 11, uh, and this is the first time you go into the lake on this course. So you'll come off the fence line there and aim to get a straight line between the two fences. So you'll aim for the middle of this fence and take it slightly on the angle. So after fence A, we'll be landing around here, and then it's two strides. fence B and that's jumping straight into the water obviously they're bound to have a bit of a look and there'll be quite a few crowds and it's quite a decent fencing so it needs lots of positive riding okay so this is fence 12 and we've just run through the water after jumping the drop in and we'll come out on the stones round about here and try and get a nice straight line to get straight onto the corner you could try taking a slightly more angle on it, but for my first one, I'll play the safe route and get a nice line into it. So this fence 12A, we've just landed over this. 12B is the skinny brush over at the side, so we'll aim to make a nice curving line. Get straight onto this brush, and that should ride a nice six strides. We then go left-handed and you head up this fairly steep hill onto the next, onto 13. This is fence 17. Um, it looks just quite a straightforward log and as you come into it for the horses, it'll look quite a straightforward plain fence. Um, actually, as you get close to it, there's quite a big ditch in front and as much as you want to take the straight route, there's actually a tree behind it, so it means you're going to have to jump it slightly on the angle and try and jump across this section here. And then landing behind, there's actually quite a steep hill down as well. So once you've jumped it, although you'll have to ride forward for the ditch, you've then got to sit back quick and get hold of the front end or you'll end up falling down the hill. 